Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 28th of 2021. Well, it is titled Messier 66 close up. So what do we see here? Well, Messier 66 is an example of a spiral galaxy in many ways like our own Milky Way and in fact about the same size 100,000 light years across meaning that light takes 100,000 years to travel from one edge of the galaxy to the other. Now when we look at the galaxy we see a number of different uh, parts of it we see the central region uh, down there in yellow towards the middle uh, the central core itself will harbor a supermassive black hole which will not be visible something we cannot see black holes are essentially by definition not visible. They are they absorb all light and they don't emit any kind of light or other types of radiation. So how do we detect them? Well, through their gravitational forces interacting with nearby objects very close to the center can allow us to detect them. And as material spirals in but outside the black hole, it can be heated up to millions of degrees and emit a lot of x rays. And another way we are able to detect black holes. So we're not able to exactly see them here, although in some uh, regions like the radio spectrum, we are being able to actually image the event horizon of a black hole now. As we look a little further out, we see that the color changes distinctly. And that tells us something about the compositions of the stars that are present there, what types of stars are present. Towards the inner regions, we have a mixture of stars, but a lot of older red stars. So the coloring it turns to more of a yellowish. So there aren't uh, there aren't just the new stars which have formed, which we see further out. The newer stars are all of those blue clusters of stars that we see scattered around the spiral arms. And those blue stars are stars that do not live for a very long time. They are very blue because they are very massive and very hot producing tremendous amounts of energy and especially at very short wavelengths expelling that material that light out into space and causing it to glow in the blue portion of the spectrum because that's where they're emitting most of their visible light. Further around and towards the edges we also see a lot of pink hydrogen regions. Now this has nothing to do with temperatures. This has to do with the ultraviolet radiation from the stars exciting hydrogen atoms and causing them to glow. When hydrogen atoms are excited, they glow and give off a distinct red color that we see here in those spiral arms. So both of those are actually signs of star formation and tell us that this galaxy is currently forming stars, as we're familiar with with all spiral galaxies, including our own. The spiral galaxies have a lot of gas and dust in them and though that is required for forming stars. We can see some of the gas here illuminated in red, but most of the time gas is simply invisible. It does not emit a lot of visible light for us to be able to detect and has to be detected through other methods. The dust is visible when it is denser. And you can see some of those dark dust lanes scattered around the spiral galaxy, which show signs of dust. And those are likely regions which are still forming stars right now. So over time, those will eventually become, show the blue stars and the red hydrogen regions that are currently showing in the spiral arms. And as those spiral of the bright stars decay and go through their lives and die, then they will start to deteriorate. You will not see the blue color any longer there, but more stars will have formed within what are the dark dusty regions now. So that was our picture of the day for January the 28th of 2021. It was titled Messier 66 close up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be North America from North America. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.